Welcome to RimWorld. RimWorld is a colony simulation game, but I imagine it, if, if you're watching this episode, you probably already know that. Seeing as we're about 20 episodes in at this stage, what have we achieved? Very little, um, because towards the start of the series, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I think that's changed somewhat. I've been playing a lot in single player, and I've, I've got a very successful colony, so we're going to load into that one. No, I'm kidding. So what we've got to do is this episode. I said it about four times last episode, and I'm probably going to say it five times this episode and not do it either. We're going to crack... The Crypto Sleep Caskets. We're going to crack open a cold boy with the ones. I don't know where I was going with that. What research are we doing? So we're currently doing, trying to get the typewriting so that they don't go so mad so quickly. We're then going to probe occult deities until we find Hasta. But only after we've got the typewriting so that they can actually reduce their sanity loss. Then we're going to sacrifice a handful of prisoners to a god that might not even exist because it makes us feel better about ourselves. America. No, hang on. Um, so... How many colonists have we got right now? So we got, sorry, four prisoners. I'm referring to them as colonists. They're clearly not people. We've got four spineless prisoners. Um, not in the sense that they're scared, in the sense that we pulled out their spines because um, I'm a big fan of war crimes. I've mentioned that a lot lately and I, I think it maintains the truth. Party spot right next to the pool table. No, naturally you want the party spot just below the radio so that some idiot can plug in their iPod and play the same three songs over and over. Not speaking from experience. Right, so let's go for, what have we got in this room? This is limestone tiles. I want to tidy up this room because it's an absolute state. Now, one of you pointed out, uh, it was probably Alchemia. I'm going to be honest, it was probably Alchemia in the Discord, not Alchemia in game, because Alchemia in game is is useless, unlike the real Alchemia. Um, basically pointed out to me that, <laughs> long story short, that you can't sell apparel anymore. You can't sell tainted apparel. Apparently, it's it's it's, it's unsellable. Funnily enough, it's, it's like nobody wants to buy clothes that somebody died in. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to destroy weapons. For, smell weapons. What does that do? Oh, wow. Break down to useful resources. Well, that's way much more useful, so let's do that. Um, what do we want to break down? Hmm. Let's get everybody equipped with the best weapons we've got before I do this. Uh, did we not buy another laser, a, a pew-pew gun? I can't see it. No, I'm going to assume not then. Uh, Galileo has grenades. Uh, gren gr <laughs> There's got to be a pun there. Somebody think of a pun, for God's sake. Icarus doesn't like weapons because Icarus is a dickerous and actually won't help defend the colony if it's in need. Let's just double check. Sickly? Uh, no, maybe not. Am I going crazy? Icarus, I thought you were incapable of violent. Okay, I'm I'm wrong in that case. Let's get Icarus equipped with a weapon. Um, How about an assault rifle? Oh, have we not got anything better? But chain shotgun definitely sounds better than an assault rifle. I'm basing it entirely on what the names of the weapons are rather than inspecting them to see what damage they do or anything like that. Just because I feel that's the most sensible option. Um, oh, right. I remember, of course, uh, Jackson Woodman is, is a new member of the colony here. Biggest Dickers and Yankee Danky have the laser guns. We need to buy another one. Alchemia, you, my friend, get the OC defense pistol. You're one of the, the longest surviving colonists, so I feel like you definitely deserve that. All right, um, let's just keep an eye on here and make sure that we haven't got colonists assigned a weapon. Uh, no, everyone seems to be pretty good for that. Right, I'm quite happy then. Smart weapons forever. Um, of a particular quality. I'm going to say anything of uh, poor quality. Anything of normal quality lower than, say, 50 hit points we'll get rid of. How about that? No, but we can repair weapons. I've got a mod to repair weapons. You build repair kits out of, like, uh, steel, plastic, cloth, things like that. And then you can actually use it to, to rebuild weapons. Um, what we'll say then... Destroy weapon. No, nope, smelt weapon. Details. Uh, unlimited radius. Do forever, naturally, of maybe... What do we think? Poor or below? Awful to poor. Yeah, that's a good idea. Melee and range. Very suitable. Eagle Throog? Where are you? What are you up to right now? Okay, so basically we came to the conclusion that this armor is most likely lowering her work speed. Now, I theorize that maybe... Because of the, what the armor is designed to do. It's nano armor. It's supposed to make you move faster, fight harder, you know, be able to lift more stuff. And especially the way it's described. And the fact that there's also another worse armor type that does increase work speed. I've theorized that basically they might have fucked it up and put a minus rather than a plus. Anyway, we're going to get her to drop that because she's working very, very slowly. Hey, do you want to move into the this place so we can shut down the floor? Might be the reactive suit. Oh, we didn't think about that, eh? Minus 40%? Shit the bed. Wow, um... <laughs> Demonetized. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, how do we? How do we? Okay, moving. Moving manipulation is only forty-four percent. So even if we drop it, might consciousness of forty percent as well. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Let's let's drop the reactive gear because that's absurd. I didn't realize that actually had such a negative effect. Um, how are we doing now? How are we doing now, Throogie? Um, we could just drop. Let's drop everything now. See how it affects our skills. Nano suit. Get rid of it. Uh, nano suit helmet. Get rid of it. 
Hmm. Let's see how she does. Now, do you, you don't have... Oh, you got pants. You've got camel hair pants. That's good. All right, go to work. Camel hair pants sounds... Oh, it's okay. It's a shirt. That still sounds absolutely god-awful. Right, so we're going to be smelting. We... Do, we have spare electricity, don't we? We're not... We're, are we draining any? No, we're actually increasing. We're, we're storing more than we're losing here with two research benches turned on as well. Um, why are these crypto sleep caskets... Why, why, why are they not powered? Why has no one considered turning these into a battery or something or draining the power from them? Because they haven't, they've clearly not got a power source. Uh, it's not like they're solar powered or anything. I think they might be perpetual motion machines. What I'm getting at is we should probably just hook them up to a battery. There is a mod. I did, I did float this. There is a very cool mod that I need to check if it's up to date, which basically allows you to put people into batteries matrix style. I'd really like to get them on because it's quite cool. You know, it gives you an incentive for capturing prisoners that are useless. Um... In the sense you could just install it. It doesn't give much power and it's quite expensive to build the captures, but it's an infinite self-sustaining source of power. Um, obviously, the downside is if they break or someone opens it, then you're going to have a lot of very angry people roaming around your colony. Um, I, I like the idea. I think it's quite cool. Should we crack them open? Let's do it. Before I get too distracted with everything else. Right, who hasn't got a weapon? Jackson Women doesn't have a weapon. Uh, Galileo is it's dangerous, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> very dangerous. Uh, maybe let's give you a different weapon. What about like a Tommy gun? It's, it's the near-distant future. Let's give you a Tommy gun so you can act like a like a 50s gangster. Um, you've got an LMG, so you're definitely on board. Welcome. Um, Icarus, chain shotgun. Welcome aboard. Nick, welcome. Uh, Biggest Dickus, naturally, you've got a pretty decent gun. Same with Rhino, same with Yankee Danky, same with Alchemia. I'm just double-checking them all, making sure we're in a good scenario. Now, Igor obviously has that APB rifle, which is broken as all hell. So hopefully we get some... You know what? It might be better just to have Igor open fire. Primarily down to the fact that... The APB rifle burns, so it's not critical. What it would do is injure them to the extent that they'll fall down and not be a permanent bleeding injury. What I'd like to do, actually, before we start work on this, is build a wall so they're all filtered out of one side. Um, so, bone wall. Either way, we're probably going to end up shooting a research bench in, in, in the crossfire. Um, I'd rather them shoot this side because the wall's already damaged here and... This, they're only going to hit the research bench, so they're not going to hit a chair or a multi-analyzer. So let's get, uh, my boy, IG, I, IT, that, that, that stands for Eagle Throog. She's going to do that very quickly. We're going to get, oh, look at that. She's working so much faster now. Yeah, I think it was the reactive suit, maybe the nano armor too, but either way, it's working. It's probably both. Let's be reasonable here. So she, so she was really at a disadvantage. Good for tanks. Good say if you've got a character that can't do anything that you just want to basically stand on guard. Be nice if there was like a, just a guard work. Oh, maybe even patrol or something like that. That would be a cool mod. If anybody wants to work on that, um, I would briefly mention you in a video. There's your payment. All right, Igor, uh, stand there. Let's have a death squad. Death squads are pretty cool. Let's have them over there. Um, hey, kids, death squads are cool. <laughs> this message brought to you by the Goebbels Foundation. All right, let's move you guys over there. There we go. That's, that's quite a nice spread, I feel. Ooh. Um, don't read into that too much. Right, go here. Let's, let's spread them out a little bit. Just because I don't want them, if if these people come out armed, I don't want immediately to be uh, glowed. Who's going to be sacrificial? Um, basically, I'm going to look at the work tab and I'm going to say who is least contributing to this colony. Biggest Dickers is a quarry slave, so unfortunately, Biggest Dickers, you are going in just in case we crack these open and they're full of, uh, they can be full of bugs. They can be full of hostile people. Uh, if they're not hostile, they will be hostile when I cut their spines out. Um, they could be filled with... Can they be filled with mechanoids? Ooh. <laughs> I'm double-guessing myself now. I don't know. Anyway, bigger stickers. Openy, wopeny, magical... Man. Oh, God. Uh, so this man's clearly hostile. Are you any good? Now, which ones do we want to try and keep alive? Oh, God, they've all got power armor, so we definitely want to strip them. Um, is it power armor or is it marine armor? It's marine armor. Uh, move speed minus... Okay, so this is good because it doesn't affect work speed, just move speed, and even then it's not a huge amount. Um, oh, I don't know. That's about half, though. Assuming they move one cell oh, per second, I actually don't know. I, I don't know what that's relative to. They've got a lot of stuff that I like to take from them. She's already dead. This one was full of bugs. What about Hugens? 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 Um, are you any good? Give it a bad back. Well, we can, we can fix that. We have the technology. She's very good. Plants, 12. Gabo? Medical 10, but pretty good. Artistic 11, very good, with a high passion for crafting there. So we could even ha just have a stone cut forever. Um, construction of 14. My god, they're all pretty good, aren't they? What about Barry? Barry Villagas is not so good. So, get out of there. Oh, hang on, they're shooting at Barry Villagas. You guys are more than welcome to try and take out Barry Villagas. Nice. Well, they killed him dead. He wasn't great. 
Okay, uh, everyone else. So, Ericsson is actually bleeding. Are you about to die? No immediate danger. Just a, just a bite on the head. Classic. Classic head bite. Alright, uh, there are a lot of bugs which we're going to have to hunt. They're only Mega Scarabs, so I don't believe they are initially hostile. Let's just keep an eye. No, they don't seem to be attacking at all. Right, Gabo, I'm going to try and arrest you. Thank you. You've made the right choice here today, Gabo. Um, can you guys please leave? Alright, so we want to set these boys for hunting. Um, but we won't deal with it right now. 35% chance to attack when harm from range. Right. Try to arrest Ericsson. Oh, God. A certain death for Ericsson. Right. Uh, try to arrest... No unreachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner mark... Oh, right. So they, they've already been grabbed, have they? All right. That's what we want to do is we want to set this one to uh, prisoners. Who should we prioritize just in case this goes a bit fucked up? Carlos? Try to arrest... Carlos, you're a sensible man. I appreciate Oh, hang on. An advanced component was in there. Well, really? Oh, man. That's really good. We might be able to finish our fabrication bench. That's very, very good. All right. And then we'll try and capture you as well. Harriet Hugens? Hugens? I don't know how you say your name. 12 plants, though. That's very, very good. We'll be a dedicated uh, farmer, naturally. Do we have another bed? I think we do, do we? I might just have to mark a sleeping spot in here very briefly. Um, let's go sleeping spot. Let's... Oh. Apparently already knows it's for prisoners. Thank you, game. That would make sense, seeing as it's a room full of prisoner beds. Try to arrest her. Now, I'm going to get Igor to do it, just based on the fact that... Oh, man. We should have stripped them. Or at least tried to strip them before we killed them. They're a game developer. They're not important. All right. Strip them. No, don't consume. By God. <laughs> Probably shouldn't put those buttons so close to one another, eh? Hugens is resisting arrest. Do not resist arrest. Um, Can I get you to just grab this fucking club? And um, Oh, hang on. No, you've got oh, creepy tentacle arms. Right. Icarus, grab this club. Go and help Eagle through. It's a bamboo club, so this is really just going to probably break. Do more damage to the club than it is going to do to Hugens. Oh, she's down. Right, capture. No, 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 no. You capture. You Eagle rest. Um, You two, you're going on drafted hunt. And in fact, anybody else in this room is also going on drafted hunt. That's going to be all of you, by the way. Uh, Draft. Come over here. Drafted hunt. Open fire. There we go. Right. Careful, watch the research bench. Mega Scarab Revenge. Still no still no high priority Mega Scarab Revenge, unfortunately. So you have to have to mark march them into it. Hey, kill them? Why are they not killing them though? Have we not got run Run a gun? Oh, they gotta stand still to hunt? Okay, running gun doesn't work when Careful. Don't shoot that bench. Careful, mind the bench. Oh, watch Nick. Okay, he's dead. Right. Um Smile and wave, boys. Get up into the corner and Kill him dead. Thank you, thank you. Might as well shoot that one. Good shot. Man, Nick got... Oh, man. Nick caught a bullet there. Shot in the arm. Oh, no. It was a bite. It's okay. We're fine. Thank you, thank you. Get in there. Give him a hand. All right. I think we're good. I love the Galileo ran it and noped completely out of there immediately. Dead body. Vomit. What is that? Yayo? Yayo's pretty good. Close, coastal flag. And what is that? Um. Oh, interesting. Might be another good weapon for downing people without actually injuring them. Right, that could be good. Go get yourself healed up, Nick. Are you alright? No immediate danger, just quite slow because he's been bitten in the leg. Okay, fair enough. Nice, that worked out really well. So, Crypto Sleep Caskets, I believe if you dismantle them, only give um, components and steel. I'm going to dismantle three of them, just because we want to build the lab in that area. We're going to keep the other three, mainly because we can't build past that line anyway, so they're just nice decoration, if nothing else. Let's get these scarabs out of here. Um, make sure that we can't put them in the freezer. Because that would be a really big issue if we start getting insect meat into the massive meal stockpile we've got right now. It's only it's only 43 meals right now, but it's still more than I'd like to get rid of, naturally. Um, let's check uh, corpses, animal corpses, insect corpses are disallowed. And let's just check the butcher table as well. Uh, bills, uh, butcher creature, and insect corpses are disallowed. All right, perfect. Apparently aberrant flesh beasts as well. Who'd have thought? Scratch. Bear claws. I forgot Eagle Thruic had bear claws, so we didn't really need to send Icarus in with the club there to take him out. Uh, strip these prisoners. Icarus, do me a favor. Strip these prisoners. They are wearing power armor, so in an escape situation, I don't think that would be very appropriate. Uh, let's get them hauled as well. Let's get the smoke pot belt out there. They can keep their clothes, but besides that, I'm not really interested. Prioritize hauling these. All right. I don't really want anyone to wet... Oh, Eagle's put on the helmet again. Hey, Eagle. Take that off. Put that down. Don't touch that. It's forbidden, so I don't know why she... I thought they're both forbidden. Oh, no. We don't want them, we don't want them taking the marine armor. Again, we need an armory near the near the kill box. I feel like that's a really good idea. You know what I might even do? I might build across here, dismantle something here, um, turn this into an armory, 
Then, oh my god, I just noticed that up in the corner. Turn this into an armory. Then in the event that the prisoners escape, we can... How are you walking? Oh, hang on. We want to recruit you. I going to say, walking without a spine. That's, that's something new. Turn this into an armory. With that, what we'll do is... If we get a large raid, large enough to obviously be a, a, a major concern, we'll grab some gear from that on the way down to the to the, uh, to the the raid there. Right. Marble embrasures apparently not holding up very well. We could really do with redoing this kill box. Now that I've been playing a lot more single player, I know how to do it a little bit better. Igor's going to start breaking down the weapons for us. She's a little bit injured, so it's going to take a little bit of extra time there. Shoulders and hands, so that's going to reduce her manipulation. But hopefully it's going to reduce the... Uh... Where the fuck did you find that? I love that the hauling bot just drags in this gigantic monstrosity. Thanks. Um, yeah, we're gonna, hopefully this will lower the overall cost, or, or the wealth, I should say, of the colony. Oh, man, we've actually got three advanced components. We could build a fabrication bench. Um, let the research begin. Hey, Duke Big Halberd's already beaten me to it. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, I want to get this room sorted out, like I said, because this is a bit of a state. So, um, I want to get a dedicated... Is it time to work on, on the, say, dedicated storage area? I feel like I've left it way too long. Uh... So my plan with with that was basically to to mine all this area out and replace this with storage. Maybe even bring it down here a little bit too. Um, turn all of this into storage. Have it connect up to the freezer because there will be things that need to go from storage into freezing. For example, genetic materials. Um, I, I believe there's something called organic pulp, which is the basic for the genetic engineering mod. That will be need to be frozen. So a pass through from the storage into the freezing area from the lab would be a good idea. Um... Not sure I like this layout, though. I'm going to make it look a bit more aesthetically pleasing. That's one thing I haven't really been doing with the base, mainly because we've been, you know, it's been sort of a, a push-comes-to-shove scenario in terms of the actual <laughs> the actual difficulty ramping up very briefly. I believe it's because we got that very, very powerful weapon. I think that's what actually caused it there. No, no, no. Let's not start this yet. We've got we've got bigger fish to fight. We've got, we've got to get set, set, set up, like, turrets, things like that, before I actually piss around with piss around with mining out an area that's completely irrelevant. Right, let's remove these plans for now. I'm going to keep the map edge there just for my own... My own sanity's sake when I try and build something that's not working. We need to shore up these defenses. Because these are right now a big target for sappers. We need to get advanced bridge building as well. Though, and Like I said, I kind of wish I'd have done that before I installed the advanced bridge building mod. Because it's made the game much, much harder for us. What are you doing? You are hauling Ericsson game dev to somewhere. Who is Ericsson? Oh, it's, we've still got a dead body in there. Understandable. This is a good cult. I'm happy with this cult. Again, it's just a shame we're worshipping the wrong god. I'm kind of almost tempted to prioritize that right now. Because it's, it's a little bit annoying that we're getting all these points with Dagon. And we're not really too interested in Dagon. Hmm. Again, I feel like the... Oh my god, does that actually count as combat? Really? You're going to slow the game down because Eagle's at a shooting range. Right, fair enough then. Oh no, hang on, prisoners are heart escaping. Alright, uh, fair enough. You thought that would be like a, like an incident? Rather than just, oh, by the way, your prison is escaping. Okay, have a nice day. Um, who's nearby? Anybody? Rosebud? You haven't got a gun because you're a panther. On account of you being panther, we've decided to not give you a weapon. Um, Nick and Yankee Yankee, you are the closest colonist. And I need you to come and uh, maybe kill Hart, depending on how much resistance they put up. Um, Icarus, I think you're the, you're the doctor, aren't you? I'm going to get you to come nearby as well, just because... Oh. Hmm, I feel I only have myself to blame in this scenario. Understandable, have a great day, right? Put it down. I actually put it down. Um, What do you mean, no? Oh, because it's not enclosed. Shit, really? Um, Right, Nick, Uh, you're going to go finish the wall. Problem solved. You're going to whack her with a club, and if she says no, Yankee Dance can come in and blow her brains out. Kill her dead. No, oh, I don't actually want to kill her dead. All right, there we go, problem solved. Capture, and you can stand down. Where is Icarus with that? Oh, that is Icarus. I was about to say, where the hell is Dr. Icarus? Apparently beating a patient over the head with a bamboo club. Huh. Force heart into a straitjacket. What if... What if we put straitjackets on every prisoner? I may be a genius. Maybe a genius. We're going to have to give it a go. I'm just going to say Dr. Care for you because I can't be fucked to run all the way to get medicine for you. I mean, it's only a bruise, right? Unless we've actually, like, split a skull open. Oh, no, apparently we shot off her shoulder. Um, with a club? Maybe Yankee Danky managed to get shot in with the, uh, with the laser gun there. Man, that's a bit annoying. We're gonna recruit a colonist with no shoulder and no leg. They bought it on themselves, really. Okay, hang on. Straight jackets, though. Um, where- I'd like to test out what they actually do. So, we've got ju- Okay, so, so, can you put this on? Sorry, just a- just a second. Put the straight jacket on for me. What does that do? 
Oh, it doesn't actually affect the manipulation or anything. Well, what's the point in it then? What, what does it actually do though? I thought maybe it would, it would reduce their manipulation to zero so they wouldn't actually be able to escape. What does it do? Oh, wow. Move speed, minus 70. Mental break threshold, minus 100. Global work speed, minus 98%. Huh. Turns out, putting straight jackets on everyone might just be the best idea I've ever had. Someone else has to remove it. Oh, God. Um, How do we take it off, then? Do we have to strip them? Oh, that could be really bad. Uh, Please. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, game, you're so funny. Right. Uh, remove the state straight jacket. There we go. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Man, I thought we were actually going to have to, like, imprison them and strip them. But no. Fortunately, they've thought of that. I like that they put it on in, like, two seconds. But it took two people to actually get it off of them. Right. There you go. Back to work. Right. Okay, then. So, we want to go to our uh, electric tailor bench. We want to make all the straight jackets. We probably want to make, like, six or seven. Um, how many colonists? I think we have seven prisoners. Saying that, four can't walk. So, that's irrelevant. So, we've got one, two, three, four. Why are you sleeping on the floor? Everybody do the dinosaur? Downed? Oh god, severe malnutrition. Um, who's not feeding the prisoners? Have we got any meals? We do have meals. Who's not feeding the prisoners? Uh, Icarus? Um, Nick's doing it? Oh, can carry to the room? I hope not. Yeah, we, where are you putting that? Oh no, we're fine. Okay. Um, uh, Icarus, do you actually want to... Oh, because Icarus is injured, so can't do the, 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 the actual jobs. Right. Um, is Nick actually feeding simple meal? Okay, fair enough. Right then, okay. Um, bigger stickers immediately beat me to it. Apparently we've got good, good jobs turned on there. Um, hang on. Turn this on though? Do you have a light turn, turn it on though? There we go. All right. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get our straight jackets. We're going to put that on everybody. So again, how many do we need? So we need one, two, three, four, um, five. Three people are without spines. You don't need a straight jacket if you haven't got spines. That makes sense. Yeah, I think that made sense. All right then, straight jackets for everyone. So I feel like, uh, as far as I know, to my knowledge, prisons with the most healthy prisoners have the highest chance of escape risk. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take uh, a hit squad of, of best boys. Um, Igor, Alkimir, and Yankee Danky. You guys are going to move in. Our oldest and greatest colonists. Um, you're going to force her into a straitjacket. You're going to force him into a straitjacket. And Yankee Danky, you're going to force Becky. Uh, nope, you're going to force Carlos into a straitjacket. That way, we've only got one prisoner who can actually do anything. And that is Rebecca Becky Jarvis. Um, which point we should have another straight jacket made because we definitely got three. Grapple success. Grapple success. Perfect. Oh man, I love that they got little straight jackets as well. That's so cool. All right. Uh, and then you guys can piss off. Where's, where's the last one though? Oh, right. We're done. No? Is that, is she in a straight jacket? It's kind of hard to tell. It might just be a nice coat. Uh, yeah, it is actually just a nice coat. Hey, why didn't you do, do your job? What's wrong with you? Wait, do we only have two? Uh, definitely got another one there. We try again. Strip? Oh, maybe because they got an outer layer of clothing, I imagine. Right, let's try that again. Hang on. Thank you, Nanky. I don't know why I'm specifically getting you to do it. Right, um... Force Hoogans into a straitjacket? We can't. Uh, we can force Becky now into a straitjacket for some reason. Why not? Just thought we'd take her clothes off her for more war crimes. What is this happening? Starvation. 11 food. They're eating raw food, despite the fact that we clearly have 11 food. Stop. Why are you doing this? Thank you. What? What? Why are they doing that? That's so strange. I I genuinely watched them do that because I saw the starvation thing pop up and I was like, clearly we haven't got food. We do have food. We've got plenty of also creatures in the freezer. Um, 18 crayfish, obviously a whole muffalo there, some snails, some raw food that needs to be cooked into meals. They're just not... Why did you guys do that? I watched that happen. Don't pretend that you didn't just try and eat raw food. Weird man. Same story. Malnutrition, extreme. But... Okay, this time we actually are out of meals. Right, fair enough then. Um, Where are all my meals going? Is it because we've got a ridiculous amount of prisoners? I, I, actually, I'm going to assume that's the case. Um, Huh. Why did you stop? Oh my god, he's cooking meals and going to a... Okay, the sermons need to stop. Like, like I'm actually just going to stop the sermons. There's no point in them. Because my list is high, when it drops low, I'll, I'll turn them off. No, 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 stop. Just go back to work. I don't care. I'll, I'll stop the congregation. Cook us some meals, for Christ's sake. They've got so many... What is happening with that? Did that hauling bot genuinely just steal the meals right off the grill? Did you see that? Um, I feel like something's, something's quite wrong here. Something in the chain of supply is, is fucked up. They've clearly got enough meat, things to cook meals with. For some reason, though, it gets interrupted and they're not doing it properly. Hmm. And it's obviously, obviously causing us shit tons of issues. Like this good, I assume, has, has some night owl in the daytime. Why? Why are you awake? 
schedule sleep. Why are you awake? This isn't my problem. Night owl in the daytime. You're the one that's awake. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not even like, yeah, he was set to go to bed at 9. That's not my concern. And here's the thing. He's a night owl, right? So, so what else can I do besides give him... I, I've said between 9 to 16, um, also known as 4 o'clock. So that gives him eight hours of sleep. I don't want to give him more sleep than that because that's a waste of time. But if I set him to do anything, he'll just go out into the daytime anyway. So, I mean, I feel like that's, a, that's the best schedule I can I can give him even now. I don't like Night Owl. In some ways, it's good because they get a mood buff as long as you keep them awake during those particular hours. But you have to also limit them because during, the obviously, the hours that they are awake. And, and you can't just have them sleep through the entire day. That's 12 hours. So, it, it's weird. You've got to, I suppose you could... Hmm, give them less recreation because they're happier as a result of being up at night time. I need to look it up. Oh, God. In the distance, tittering laughing is heard mocking an inhuman. Oh, Christ. I know what this is from my, uh, from my, my, my experience playing this. You guys all need to squat up and defend Yankee Dankie because if this thing turns up and we are unprepared, we're all gonna die. We so all gonna die. Um, Akimia, for the love of God, get moving because if it comes after you and you're out there by yourself, you're doomed. So basically... I don't like the Lovecraft Storyteller. I feel that should be obvious. In fact, I don't like parts of this mod. Um, it turns out they're not just issued with the Storyteller. This is one of them. How about a really strong creature that can appear anywhere and rush you down? And it's very, very powerful. Um, as we're about to see, I feel like we need to even split up a little bit more than this and potentially not get into such a... We need to basically get in one sort of staggered line. Okay, Alchemia is being attacked. There you go. Right, fucking Star Vampire right there. Run, run, run. He can't run. Great. So what we're going to do now is go and try and save him before he gets devoured by a friggin' star map, which literally just spawned on top of him, by the way. Um, there we go, he's down, and he's about to die. Oh, there's nothing I can do to stop that. Absolutely nothing I can do to stop that. What was I supposed to do? Oh, start moving Colonist randomly over to Alchemia in the hopes that the vampire, if the vampire spawned on him, and then what? What if it randomly spawned on Yankee Danky and killed Yankee Danky? I, I hate this. Some, some parts of this mod I feel are so badly designed. This is one of them. I don't know if there's any way to stop it. Feel free to elucidate me if that is the case. You know, I've expressed my my um, opinions on the whole Deep Ones thing, giving a minus 40 opinion, because, wow, well, <laughs> that's funny. Don't even... Oh, it's just going to eat him as well. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Are we going to hold this door open and lose another person? Because it's just going to grapple it, hold them still so they can't escape, and die from that method. Oh, he's going to smash down the door. All right, fair enough. Right. Sorry, Alchemia. There was actually nothing I could have done there. Man. A little bit annoyed by that. Well, at least we've got some over other overpowered mods to make up for it. That fucking APB rifle that's just going to destroy him. At least Alchemia isn't completely devoured. Um, missing 20% of his body. So we can rebuild him. Ah, oh, man. I, I, I don't like that at all. That's such uh, That just genuinely just feels like bullshit. Might as well just be, by the way, one of your colonists is about to die randomly. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Maybe it's like drop pods. Maybe if you're hiding under a mountain, it has to drop in somewhere outside. I don't know. Anyway, um... Man, that's, that's like really demoralizing because I know that there's fuck all I could have done in that scenario. And to add insult to injury, we now have a group of tribes people from the White Bramble Confederacy. Excellent. Oh, it's not many. Like, and there are only tribes people as well. So what have they re realistically got here? Oh, a boomalope. Okay, fine. Chemical warfare. I see how it is. Yeah, a little bit annoyed by that. Um, Oh my god, Yankee Yankee's still in a daze as well. So we're just gonna have to try and fucking defend him. Oh man, this is, this is not good at all, is it? All right, who hasn't got a gun? You, you can leave. Jackson Whitman, go home. We don't need you. Galileo, come grab this gun rather than a Tommy gun. Um, you grab the Tommy gun rather than nothing. You grab, oh my god, whatever else is going to be dropped over here. Uh, Nutik, the only person with a gun. Reliable Nutik. Uh, Rhino, please, we need your help. Eagle Throog, we definitely need you in your APV rifle. Alright, um, grab this one. You come stand over here. Alright. Sorry? Oh, right, they, they fought. There were people on the way there. Oh, that's good. Alright. Ooh, finally, someone's dying that isn't our colonist randomly. Yeah, a little bit salty about that. No, oh, Igor, please, for the love of God, bury him. He does. He, I even said at the start of the episode, Alchemia, who's been here for the longest, besides Igor. <sighs> Jinx myself, really. Thank you for watching. I'm a little bit salty about Alchemia's death there, but again, I, I don't know how to combat those guys. I don't even know if there is a way to, and honestly, they're so overpowered. I, bear in mind when I test. Rimworld mods, I, I generally will load up this pre-made character I've got that has 20 in all stats, like the most ridiculous armor, weapons, speed skin scoots, whatever. And I found even with four of these very powerful characters, I still lose at least two of them to star vampires. That they're so unbelievably overpowered. 
It's, it's just frustrating, that's all. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to my top tier patrons Big D Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Holting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Woodman, Escape, Croesus, Billy Dally, James Ogilvy, Inspired Team, Necrofilm, Michael Mullen, Hey Dog, Jocelyn Dean Tesla, and Logan Thorne for their support at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you very much for that. And of course, a big shout out to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Facundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Lutchley, Brandon Mintoniak, Polemaster, Everqueen as Waifu, Quasar Fox, Jonas Jess Fullerton, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sertal the Swede, Nick Sedini, Astro, Jack Allen, Chancellor Shoe Palty, and Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Euron DeVries, I'm Liz King, and Oconny27 for your support on Patreon as well. And of course, the many, many others who have, who have so much of you even checked out the Patreon page. Thank you. I appreciate that. The first behind the scenes video is up on the Patreon page. If you're interested in that type of thing about video editing and, and uh, uploading to YouTube and, and some sort of minor tweaks I do. Basically, my, my creation process, right? So if you're interested in that, feel free to go check it out. I will see you next episode when I'm done being less salty over this damn vampire.